Right. So, so uh, uh, someone might think, and, and actually I think, that the epistemology of religion is, is, is an especially uh, appropriate place to uh, bring a, a kind of social turn in epistemology. So, for example, consider the Consider the epistemology of perception. How is it that I come to know things by uh, perceiving? How do I come to know by seeing, say, that there is a uh, chair in the room or something like that? Um, you'd have to think a little bit about why that would be a particularly social process, right? Maybe there's nothing interestingly social about the epistemology of perception. Maybe there is, but it's not obvious that there is. But when you think about how people form their religious beliefs, it's highly uh, dependent on the social context that they're in. And uh, people depend very much on religious teaching, uh, testimony from other people, um, uh, the knowledge that is seated in the institution, uh, for example, the Catholic Church, say. Uh, and, and so the social dimensions of religious belief are sort of immediate and obvious right away. And so when we talk about, well, what makes a religious belief reasonable? Or can you know something in the religious domain? Can we have knowledge of God? Or at least, if not knowledge of God, can we have rational faith or reasonable belief? Uh, social issues come to the fore very, very quickly. So it's really a area in epistemology that is, uh, uh, I think is uh, especially um, wanting for a, a social approach.